Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Corrosion and its Prevention. So children, before we move ahead with our discussion, we should first understand the meaning of corrosion. Children, do you know that if a metal is reactive, its surface may be slowly attacked by the air or moisture from the atmosphere. The metals react with oxygen present in air and form a compound on its surface. The formation of such a substance tarnishes the metal. That is, it makes the surface of the metal appear dull. In some metals like iron, these compounds are porous and gradually falls off from the surface and then the metal underneath the surface is also attacked by these factors. So, what did you understand about corrosion? The eating up of metals by the action of air, moisture or a chemical on their surface is called Corrosion Most of the metals corrode when kept in damp air. Let's discuss about corrosion of iron metal. Iron metal corrodes when it is kept in damp air for a considerable time. It gets covered with reddish-brown flaky substance which is called rust. This process of corrosion of iron is called as rusting of iron. Rust is soft and porous and it gradually falls off from the surface and then the iron below starts corroding. During rusting of iron, iron metal combines with oxygen in air in the presence of water to form Hydrated iron 3 oxide Fe2O3 into H2O. The corrosion of metals is a highly undesirable process. A large amount of metals is lost every year because of corrosion. Children, now we will discuss an activity to discover the conditions essential for rusting of iron. 1. Take three test tubes and place clean iron nails in each of them. 2. Label these test tubes A, B and C. Pour some water in test tube A and cork it. 3. Pour boiled distilled water in test tube B. Add about 1 ml of oil and cork it. The oil will float on water and prevent the air from dissolving in the water. 4. Put some anhydrous calcium chloride in test tube C and cork it. Anhydrous calcium chloride will absorb the moisture, if any, from the air. Leave these test tubes for a few days and then observe. You will observe that iron nails rust in test tube A, but they do not rust in test tubes B and C. In the test tube A, the nails are exposed to both air and water. In the test tube B, the nails are exposed to only water. And the nails in test tube C are exposed to dry air. What does this tell us about the conditions under which iron articles rust? 1. Presence of air 2. Presence of water Let us now try to figure out what are the ways in which we can prevent corrosion. The rusting of iron can be prevented by painting, oiling, greasing, galvanizing, chrome plating, anodizing or making alloys. And what is galvanizing? 
Galvanization is a method of protecting steel and iron from rusting by coating them with a thin layer of zinc. The galvanized article is protected against rusting even if the zinc coating is broken. Now, what is alloying? Alloying is a very good method of improving the properties of a metal. We can get the desired properties by this method. For example, iron is the most widely used metal. But it is never used in its pure state. This is because pure iron is very soft and stretches easily when hot. But if it is mixed with a small amount of carbon, about 0.05%, it becomes hard and strong. When iron is mixed with nickel and chromium, we get stainless steel, which is hard and does not rust. Thus, if iron is mixed with some other substance, its properties change. In fact, the properties of any metal can be changed if it is mixed with some other substance. The substance added may be a metal or a non-metal. An alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a metal and a non-metal. It is prepared by first melting the primary metal and then dissolving the other elements in it in definite proportions. It is then cooled to room temperature. If one of the metals is mercury, then the alloy is known as amalgam. The electrical conductivity and melting point of an alloy is less than that of pure metals. For example, brass, an alloy of copper and zinc, and bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, are not good conductors of electricity, whereas Copper is used for making electrical circuits. Friends, in this video, we studied corrosion and prevention of corrosion.